Here's a poem entitled, A House of Prayer. This poem was inspired by the Lord and written by Matthew Hart. What kind of spiritual house do you abide in? Is it a house of prayer and holiness or evil and sin? Our lives should be filled with goodness, mercy, and love. And we should be praying for God to rain His anointing down from above. The spiritual fire in our hearts should never lose its flame or spark. And we should keep heading toward the heavenly prize and spiritual mark. The devil wants to keep your prayer life stagnant and stale because he knows it makes it harder for us to prevail. Prayer changes things and it can help pave a way to a bright and beautiful day. If you have a heart full of the word and prayer, then you won't yield to worry, anxiety, or earthly care. Recently, I had an intercessory prayer come upon me, and it gave me a glimpse into something that God wanted me to see. The Lord allowed me to feel a great sense of grief, and when it departed, it was such a relief. I had these words coming to me. The Holy Spirit is so grieved right now. And then the Lord began to show me the why and how. The Holy Spirit is grieved by man's sin and also their indifference to sin. Perversion, immorality, and filth seem to be the rage. But doing all these things keeps us locked up in a spiritual cage. Christians should be grieved by all the things that are happening in our nation. And it should bother us unless we've fallen into spiritual complacency and stagnation. How can we say as a nation that we are walking in God's light if we keep allowing little babies to be aborted left and right? God's heart feels the heartache and pain so we need to repent so that we can feel God's latter rain. Did you know as a country we set a record of how many people died last year? This should bring us to our knees as we shed many tears. The last time that many people died was 1910. This should make us wonder why this is happening again. People need some kind of spiritual hope to arise, or suicides and overdoses will continue to rise. If you have compassion and you really do care, then you'll make yourself a house of prayer. We need to press into God's heavenly kingdom and pray that He will give us discernment and wisdom. We also need to earnestly seek His face and cry out daily for His mercy, love, and grace.